Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Ayesh from Malayalam. So basically, another last 20 days is here uh, for your JE mains first attempt. So firstly, uh, without talking about all other things, firstly I wanted to say one thing, whether to focus first attempt or second attempt. An Academy is India's biggest online learning platform, is coming up with this UNSAT An Academy National Scholarship Admission Test. It's going to be an offline test for IDJE, NEET UG and for class 9th and 10th across 40 cities of India for just rupees 199 on June 4th and 5th which is first Saturday and Sunday of June in which you are going to get 90% scholarship worth 150 crores for an academy centers and online subscriptions top 40 rankers in this particular test will be getting iPhones you are going to get an academy t-shirt freely if you want to enroll for this particular UNSAT, use the link in the description and my code CHARANVITY for which you will be getting 10% off on 199. The final price will be 179 rupees. So th these are the scholarship distribution. Top 5% will be getting 90% scholarship, 15%, 50%. Where do I find the test center details? Test center details will be communicated by June 3rd. You will receive a link to download the admit card via your registered mail ID. What is the duration of the test? 90 minutes. What is the UNSAT test pattern? For IDJE and new UG, you will be having 80 multiple choice questions. For class 9th and 10th, you will be getting 60 multiple choice questions. So this is about UNSAT. Use the link in the description and register before June 2nd. Whether to focus first attempt or second attempt. So according to my analysis, according to my observation since the last 2-3 to three years, I feel focusing and targeting the first attempt is going to be really helpful. So try to focus on the first attempt first. Try to score as much as you can. Just give you 200% and try to get maximum score in the first attempt of JE mains. 2022 so that is going to be held from june 21st so the next thing is like uh, i request you guys to first remember your fantasies fantasies in the sense what are your dreams where you want to see yourself for the next four years where you want to see yourself for after the next four years so how from where you wanted to start building your career so all those things like you will be having some kind of fantasies like uh, you want to be in a very good uh, very good campus you want to make friends across india and uh, some kind of really good fantasies will be there right so let me just open up so during my JE days so my one and only fantasy i had is from 10th standard i wanted to buy a oneplus mobile for myself so my father said if you get nit iit triple id i'll buy you a oneplus mobile so that i am in nit varanga i got my mobile so those kind of fantasies will be there right so those things will really push you forward push you and always keep you motivated and just uh, keep you keep yourself focused towards the study next thing is so if you want to be stay focused and motivated do watch the campus vlogs campus videos freshers intros of whatever college like nid iid you will kind of will get kind of push towards your preparation so next thing is whether you have to do smart work or hard work i always suggest doing smart work along with hard work will surely give you the best result out of you so that's what I would say, like uh, you should always try to do smart work as much as possible along with hard work. So that will surely give you the best result. So smart work in the sense, what you have to do? You have to study, of course, that's a hard work. You have to study perfectly. You have to study each and every concept without missing. So that's what has hard work. But studying it with a proper way, I mean, uh, exam oriented study, that's what I mean, called smart work. So if you start with the two, those chapters which are really important, for the exam so that will give you some kind of confidence if you complete them that's what right so i'll be showing you the subject wise chapters on the screen you can just check those chapters and just prepare accordingly so these are the chapters first you need to complete and once after the completion of these chapters focus on the rest of the chapters for mathematics and those chapters which you are seeing on the screen is for physics and these chapters which you are seeing on the screen is for chemistry so that's about the chapters i hope you are really happy with the chapters collection next thing like uh, in the last video also with when i talked with juniors everyone is saying solving the previous year papers previous year questions is going to be really important and it's going to be a game changer for all of you guys so make sure you prepare pyqs properly so prepare pyqs properly in the sense you should solve each and every pyqs at least I, my suggestion will be at least last five to six years don't miss at all so try to solve last five to six years paper completely each and every question from each and every chapter so next in the list is writing a mock test so you have another 20 days so my suggestion would be writing a mock test every alternate day or else for the first 10 days every alternate day and the next 10 days every day 
so writing is important as well as after writing doing analysis is also same important so if you write the exam for 3 hours sit for 3 hours or 2 hours and analyze it where you are doing mistakes how to overcome those mistakes so when you do this no this kind of uh, practice so you will try to overcome the mistakes which you are doing in the exam and you will try to improve your score exam by exam so that's what is going to be a game changer again so write a mock test and do analyze it properly and segregate the chapters where you are strong moderate and weak focus on strong chapters then weak cha moderate chapters then weak chapters this is also called as smart work exam oriented study at the end avoid negative people guys let them say let them bark anything that's you focus on your preparation you believe in your preparation you believe in yourself you believe in your practice you are going to crack the exam next thing at last be focused be cool and be confident enough that you are going to crack the exam you have another 20 days 20 days is not just a simple thing it's a very good ample amount of time you have in your hands the one who utilizes the 20 days properly so this is this 20 days defines the work the hard work the everything whatever you put in for the last two years and for the last 10 to 12 years of your schooling and college everything so just stay focused you are going to crack it and all the best guys love you all thank you guys